Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Bromero Cards for Honey Bee Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a card using some products from their latest release. Honey Bee Stamps had a fabulous new release last week and I thought I would uh, make something new with it. So what we'll do is we'll go down to the downward facing camera and take a look at all the products we're going to use and then we'll get started. So we are going to be using the Awesome to the Core stamp set along with the matching die set and the matching stencil. We're going to be using our Misty. We're going to be using the Honeybee Stamps, uh, pull this out here, the Harvested, or Homestead Harvest Paper. And you guys, I do have to say, life-saving thing here, like you totally have to get one of these. I am in love with this envelope. It actually holds three paper pads, and if you're a hoarder like me, then this will be perfect for you. But not only does it do that, but it also holds your uh, embellishments that usually match the release or the paper that it comes with. You can you can remove them from the packaging, I have not, but you could uh, fit some down in this little pocket there, and you can keep your papers and your embellishments together. It's genius, I love it, I need 500 of them. But um, anyway, we're going to be using this paper and maybe some of the embellishments. We're going to be using some navy blue cardstock, some white cardstock, and a card base. And we're going to be using these colors by Concord and Ninth. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp out our apple. Um, because I want to make sure that this ink is dry when we start doing the ink blending. So that's one of the first things we'll do. We're gonna go ahead and open up our Misty. I do have the new Waffle Flower sticky mat in here, along with the grid um, placed on the back. This is in my mini Misty. I have just used this a few times, and I have to say, I freaking love this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get our paper down onto the mat. It's sticky, so we don't have to use a, a magnet. And I'm just gonna stamp this out. and some Be Creative Black Ink from Honeybee Stamps. And there we go. Okay, up next we are going to do our sentiment. I've decided to do this on some navy cardstock. We're going to do it with some gold embossing powder. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get these guys stuck on there. I'm going to use the anti-static tools because we don't want any powder sticking to it once we uh, get it placed on there. We're going to use some Be Creative embossing ink from Honeybee Stamps. Get this stamped out. Don't want to press too hard, just enough to get the ink onto the paper. And I like to do a second stamping just to make sure that it's nice and covered there. All right, so we'll take this out. Fancy little dandy catcher for the embossing powder. Perfect. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take this offline and go ahead and heat emboss it. Okay, now that we have this heat embossed, I'll hold this up so you can see all its glory and beauty. We are going to go ahead and get this die cut out. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take the dies. Place them onto the magnetic plate here. This is um, the Mini Impress from Anna Griffin, and it is over in the Honeybee Stamp Shop. I have been using this machine for now about three weeks, and I still love it. It's great. I don't see myself moving away from it anytime soon. So let's go ahead and get this die cut. Okay, 
make these cut out perfect, as always. Take a look. Okay, now that we have that completed, we're going to go ahead and start getting our apple um, ink blended in. So we're going to go ahead and place this onto the sticky mat here by Waffle Flower. And we're going to do our first layering of this apple. So we're just going to go ahead and get this stencil layered on here. And for this layer, we are going to be using Sprout. I'm going to do a light green color. I'm going to make like an, a Granny Smith here. Let's get good, nice coverage here. Perfect. Now that we have that base layer, we are going to do the next layer, which is a little bit of shadowing. And for the shadowing, we're going to use parsley. Again, I'm not going to get crazy. We just want a nice shadow looking onto the apple. There we go. And then for the next layer, we are gonna put like some little markings on this guy. Let me put my head over this to make sure that we got it nice and lined up. And for the lighter colors, I'm gonna use wheat. I'm just gonna go over this lightly. You know how sometimes apples have those strips of brown on them? Kind of like that. And last but not least, we're gonna give it a little, couple more markings here. And we're gonna use nutmeg for that. Nothing too crazy. Just enough to give it a little bit of texture. There we go. Just add a little marking to the, the apple. I like that. And then we're going to pull in the leaf here. And for the leaf, we will use, I think we're going to use some avocado, which is a lighter kind of olive color. There we go. And then I kind of just like it like that. Let's do the stem and brown. I'm not going to do all these extra layers. I kind of feel like I don't need that. So we're just gonna do the brown here. And we're just gonna use a nutmeg. And the apple's complete. Hold that up. Here we go. Okay, now that we have the apple colored in, we will go ahead and place the die onto the magnetic board. Get this nice and even. Make sure it's good all the way around. Perfect. And now we'll run this through the die cutting machine as well. And there we have our perfect little apple. Okay, so now that we have pretty much everything complete, it's time to go ahead and get the card created. Um, I did decide to use some paper from the Homestead Harvest, and I'm gonna use this burlap color. This is cut up four and a quarter by five and a half. We're gonna use this striped 
um, piece of paper that has some flowers on the back of it, but we're going to use the stripe side. And that's cut at, I believe, uh, my glass mat is upside down. Let's see. Three and a quarter by five. And then these strips are cut. These are just um, a piece of this, which is cut um, at the same. It's uh, one fourth inch by um, three. How much did I say this was? I'm sorry. Um, actually, I guess I could just one fourth by five inch and then a half inch by five inches. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and get this card put together. And we're going to be using some Honeybee Stamps glue. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here, I'm going to use some of our Honeybee Stamps um, white foam strips. And I'm just going to put these on the back here. These are super thin and I love these um, just to add a, just a, ten, a teeny bit of dimension to the back of the cards. All right, and we'll remove the backing from all of the back of the paper, except for these little tiny ones. They don't really need to be removed because you have so much um, other pieces that it's not going to matter if um, they're, they have the backing on them because it's, it's going to stick no matter what. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue these pieces down here. Kind of want them to be here. And then we're going to do the same thing with the apple. We're going to put some foam tape on the back of that. And we will remove the backing. And then we will put foam tape on the back of the sentiments as well. I'm just going to kind of cut this in half and place those on the back. And because there isn't glue on the back of this and when it popped up on the apple a little bit, we're just going to put a little bit of glue here. And remove that backing. Okay, do we want to put a little bit of bling on here? Let's see what we have here. Maybe we could do maybe these guys here. Maybe do a little trio. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so there's our card. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to Honeybee Stamps website and check out their latest release. All the products used tonight will be listed down in the description of the video. And then also make sure you check them out over on Facebook and Instagram and all the other socials. And you can check me out too by searching for Bromero cards on Instagram and over here on YouTube. So let's hold this up. I'll show this to you close up. There we go. You're awesome to the core. 
I love it. Simple, yet a pop of color, a little bit of touch of fancy with the sparkles, a great card. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.